Hello everybody, my name is Richard Rodriguez and this is Principles of Marketing 305. Today I'm going to talk to you about sales management and the sales management process. Sales management encompasses three things. A. Sales plan formation. B. Sales plan implementation. And C. Sales force evaluation. Sales plan formation encompasses three things. A. Your selling objectives. B. Organiz organizing a sales force. And C. Developing account management policies. Let's go over A first. A, your selling objectives. Your selling objectives is basically your goals or your quotas that must be met by your sales team. Your, your organization of your sales force has two questions. A, do we want an in-house sales team? Or B, a contracted sales team from outside the firm? And C, developing account management policies. These policies are basically the day-to-day -day operation of the sales force and how they're going to go about selling the various products that our particular company uh, offers. After sales plan formation, we have implementation. Implementation is basically, uh, as the name says, implementation. We're going to implement our sales, our sales, uh, our sales plan. And under sales plan implementation, we have A, sales team recruitment, B, sales team training, and C, sales team motivation and compensation. Sales team recruitment is basically recruiting the right people to sell your product to your various customers. You want to recruit these people, the right type of people actually, because you need them to be motivated and be willing to sell a particular product, whatever product your company offers. And B, uh, your sales team training and your sales team training basically is continuous training on the various product your firm offers for new and seasoned uh, sales team. And then C is the sales team motivation and compensation, which is basically your sales team needs to be motivated to sell product, and they need to be uh, rightly compensated. But I know that there's four rules for a motivated sales team. A, a clear job description. B, effective sales practices. C, they have to they have to have a personal need for achievement. And D, the right incentives or rewards. In order to, in order to motivate the employee to sell, to meet your sales quota or exceed your sales quota. And after sales plan implementation, we have sales force evaluation, which is a quantitative or B behavioral. Quantitative is basically input versus output. Your input being your sales calls and your selling expenses, and your output being your your sales quota, meeting your sales quota that the firm places upon you. And then b under B, which is behavior, basically your behavior towards your customers, the selling skills, your communication skills to help you sell the various products that a firm offers. And your, commu your communication skills can be anything from communicating to the customer to communicate it to your production team, to communicate it to your sales manager, or any other member on your sales team. These are the three things that encompass that encompass a successful sales manager or sales management process in order for a firm to be successful. We went over sales plan implementation or formation, sales plan implementation, and sales force evaluation. These three things are, I believe, the cornerstone for a successful firm to be successful in the sales force or in the particular field. Once again, I, I went over sales plan formation, sales plan implementation, and sales force evaluation, and the key drivers behind these three things. And upon my further, upon my research, I also uh, I used uh, the 11th edition of marketing Karen Hartley and Rudila's uh, marketing book. So with that said, I am done, and I hope uh, you understood sales sales management or the sales management process and how to implement it and what the, what it, what the things consist of the sales management process. Thank you.